गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल लीव क्लासेस आई एम एंशली चिल्ड्रन आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग द प्रैक्टिस सीरीज क्वेश्चन इन योर प्रैक्टिस नोटबुक एंड द प्रीवियस वीडियो फॉर द सीरीज वॉज सेशन टेन द टॉपिक इज लाइब्रेरी क्लासेज एंड आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर रेडी विद योर सोल्यूशन सो जस्ट टेक आउट योर प्रैक्टिस नोटबुक एंड प्लीज टेल योर आंसर्स विद माइंड and wherever the correction is required please do that correction right so we move on to the first question of this pdf the question is define wrapper class a wrapper class is a library class that contains a primitive data type children here i want to mention about the two videos which are present on the channel library classes 1 and library classes 2 these two videos you must watch to understand this topic properly the link for these two videos are there in the end screen of today's video so here i am not going into detail i am just writing the answer or just telling you the answers for the pdf questions of session 10 video right so we start with the second question the question is name the package which contains the wrapper class and the answer is java.lang this is the package name which contains the wrapper class right Question number three says how many wrapper classes are there in Java and name these wrapper classes along with the primitive data types. So we have total eight wrapper classes present in Java and these are the wrapper classes: character, byte, short, integer, long, float, double, and boolean. And for each wrapper class, you have the corresponding primitive data type. For character, it is char. children here one thing i would like to tell you that wrapper class starts with the capital letter with upper case letter always the wrapper class name starts whereas the primitive data type names always it is mentioned it is written in small case it is written in lower case right so for character it is char byte short int long float double and boolean these are the primitive data types for these wrapper classes and i hope this is very simple and all of you must have done it correctly in your practice notebook before we proceed i would like to tell you some exciting information an academy is giving free subscription for its creative corner to its users those who ask seven doubts in their ask a doubt feature so children it is a win win situation where you can ask your doubt your doubts will be cleared by the top most educators and at the same time you will get the opportunity to get to join this creative corner in this creative corner you have more than 100 skills which you can learn now let me name a few here you can learn how to develop a computer game you can learn about vedic maths you can learn robotics you can learn music you can learn public speaking skills and many more so children get your doubts cleared in physics chemistry maths and biology in ask a doubt feature and get the opportunity grab the opportunity to join this creative corner and don't forget to use the code leap classes all the best children question number 4 says to give the sky code for the given values and the first is 0 to 9 digits we have the sky code from 48 to 57 capital a to capital z it is 65 to 90 small a to small z it is 97 to 122 i hope all of you know these sky codes because these will be used in your programming as well Question number five says to define auto boxing and unboxing. Auto boxing is automatic conversion of primitive data type into an object of its equivalent wrapper class is auto boxing. And unboxing is just reverse of this. Unboxing means to convert an object of wrapper class to its primitive data type. That is unboxing. So auto boxing. primitive to wrapper and unboxing wrapper to primitive children again here i would like to suggest you that please go to library classes video 1 for the details of this topic question number 6 says to state the data type and the value of ans variable now children if you see here c is a variable of char type and this five character is stored in C variable. Then A N S equals to character dot is letter of C. Children, in that video I told you that if the function name is starting with is, that means it will return either true or false. So here character dot is letter. It will check whether this specified character is a letter 
Question number 7 says to state the function name that converts a string to a primitive data type value. So for this we have two functions. You can use either double dot parse double function or double dot value of function. And the second part of this is to tell the function name that checks whether the specified character is a lowercase character. So for this we have the function character dot is lowercase. This function tells whether the given character is lowercase character or not. Question number 8 says to give the output and there are three parts in this. We go one by one. First statement is string st equals to 10. That means 10 is stored as string value in st variable. Then int num1 equals to 20. Then you have int num equals to integer dot parse int of st. Integer dot parse int is used to Convert the string value into integer value provided that string contains only the digits in string type, right? Then num1 equals to num1 plus num. int num equals to integer dot parse int of st. That means num will become 10 here. This st will be converted into int type. Then num1 equals to num1 plus num. Num1 is 20 num is 10 so now the new value of num1 will be 30 so the output of this is 30 writing only 30 is sufficient you don't have to solve it anywhere if you want that solving portion you can do in the rough side right then the second part is char c equals to question mark boolean ans equals to character dot is letter of c is this question mark a letter? No. That means this ANS will have the value of false and print ANS. So the output will be here false. Then we come to the next part. Char C equals to Z capital Z. CH equals to character dot to lowercase. To lowercase function converts the given value specified character into lowercase. So ch will have the value small z, right? Then num equals to int of ch minus 1. Now what is ch? ch is z. The sky value of lowercase z is 122. So 122 minus 1 is 121. So num will have the value 121. Now what we have to print? Care of num. That means the character value of sky code 121. So that is lowercase y. Then you have backslash t within double quotes. That means it will print a tab character. So after tab space ch. What is the value of ch? Is lowercase z. So this will be your output. Right children? So these type of questions are asked in the exam from library classes topic. So prepare this topic properly. Around 2 to 4 marks questions can be asked in section A from this topic. Question number 9 says what is the purpose of integer dot value of function. Children this function is used to convert the string that contains only numbers into integer value. If the string contains any special characters or alphabets then this function will not work right. Then question number 10 says what is the significance of asterisk symbol when you are importing a package. So the asterisk symbol indicates that all the classes of that package can be used in the program. So children I suppose all these answers you must have done correctly and if you have any doubt on these topics on the topic library classes, wrapper classes, auto boxing, unboxing please refer to other videos of this topic present on the channel. You can also check the playlist for this. I hope you are enjoying and finding this series helpful for the preparation. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get the notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you. You can join us on our telegram channel also. The link is there in the description box. You may follow us on Instagram also. The link is there in the description box. 
keep practicing keep solving keep working hard god bless your children